Larry, you, you talked a little bit about, you know, having board sort of predisposed to this, but uh, there are other roles for board members here, which I think would be interesting to, to our audience here. Can you talk yeah, about that? There, there are very, first and foremost, you're one of the very earliest donors to the campaign, as well as to the organization on an annual basis, annual giving. Every board member should and is expected to give because the large outs, the donors who are outside of the organization, the first question they ask typically is, what has your board done? Mm. You have 100% participation. Even if it's not an enormous amount of money, you need 100% participation. Board members are also cheerleaders, both for the mission of the organization, the organization and the campaign. If there is one, they're networkers, they look at lists of prospective donors. They offer names that they'll help to approach, open doors, gain access to. Development professionals take advantage in the best way of the universes of board members uh, in order to broaden the appeal and the exposure to the mission. Um, and finally, facilitating uh, a donor relationship. Hmm. They are the person who helps bridge that relationship between themselves and the organization and the donor candidate. So they can play a very pivotal role. In healthcare fundraising, often it's the physician that does that with a, with a grateful patient. Hmm. And then finally, an advocate around when someone has made a gift, thanking them, hmm. writing a note if they happen to know them. Even if they don't know them, writing a note of appreciation goes an enormously long way for repeat donor activity over time and escalating of the gift. So that those are the most important roles of, of uh, board members. And finally, to oversee the entire organization oversight mm -hmm. of the campaign and the executives leading it. 